The Investec Handicap is next up. This is a 2 mile 0 to 90 for three year olds. And at the top, we've got Lakeside Breeze for Jim Murray, Dernier Nosh, David Robertson, Devilish Gelding, Darren Thompson, William Wordsworth, Paul Rhodes, Crawler, Martin Leader, and Culler Hill Jacko for Satyam. So six of them in this then. All installed and ready to go. Crawler closest to us in the purple and white. They're away and racing. And who's going to be the first one to show? It looks like it's going to be the Satyam horse, Culler Hill Jacko. In the yellow jacket, it's got to cross to the rail and got the early lead from Crawler wide on the track. But they're settling themselves down, sorting themselves out. They've got a full circuit of the track to go. And the pace is somewhat pedestrian, as I've been known to say before. And William Wordsworth has now come through to take the lead with a two length lead. And quickly turning it into a three length lead, maybe with a four length lead now, as the rest of them are. Not all that bothered about letting him get a lead at the moment. So William Wordsworth has gone on by a good four to Culler Hill Jacko in second. Devilish Gildin just about showing third with on its inside Lakeside Breeze. The widest on the track is Crawler and the one just tucked in the back is the only grey Dernier Nosh. And it's William Wordsworth bowling along in front as we get a bit of jockey cam action. Devilish Gelding at the moment. Now we're on the grey doing a nosh at the back. And William Woods with his five clear. Bowling along in front. Still doesn't appear to be going all that quickly. So whether this is going to develop into a bit of a sprint finish, we'll have to wait and see. But there's still nine and a half, half furlongs to go. And William Wordsworth is slowly increasing that lead. Prepares to swing left handed. Leads probably up to six now with Lakeside Breeze in second. Crawler on the outside third. Colonel Jack on the inside in the yellow fourth. And Devilish Gelding has been driven up to move alongside those of the three. And Dernier Nosh just a bat marker as we go up into the drone or the blimp or whatever we're in. And William Wordsworth, we can see, is well clear. Colonel Hill Jacko is now a clear second. Corner on the outside is third, Devilish Gelding is fourth, and Lakeside Breeze has just dropped back a little bit, and Dernier Nosh is now being scrubbed along. So maybe the pace is a little bit hotter than we thought. William Wordsworth leads now down to a little more than two. Uh, as Collar Hill Jacko comes through to challenge, Devilish Gelding is in third, Crawler's fourth, Lakeside Breeze is fifth, and Dernier Nosh is sixth, and they're getting strung out again now as William Wordsworth kicks on with four and a half to go. Two and a half lengths clear of Collar Hill Jacko in second, and Devilish Gelding in third. Then there's a three length gap back to Crawler, and Lakeside Breeze, Dernier Nosh is right out of it out the back at the minute, but it's William Wordsworth who's in the lead by two and a half still from Devilish Gelding, who now looks to be throwing down the bigger challenge in second. There's still three full longs to go, and William Wordsworth is too clear of Devilish Devilish Gelding in second, Colonel Jacko is in third, running on now Crawler and Lakeside Breeze, Dernier Nosh out of shot, but it's still William Wordsworth who's holding on of a lead by two lengths past the two furlong pole. Devilish Gelding is in second, these two are a good six lengths clear of the Jim Murray horse who's moved into third, but it's William Wordsworth who's still in the lead, but only by about a length and a half now to Devilish Gelding in second, think it's between these two as they race into the final furlong, and now suddenly Devilish Gelding starts to assert on the outside, and Devilish Gelding bursts into the lead, William Wordsworth it has got nothing left and it's going to be Devilish Gelding who's going to take it, Devilish Gelding wins it comfortably from William Wordsworth and then Lakeside Breeze doing a nice Collier Jacko and finally Crawler and Darren Thompson takes it with Devilish Gelding two mile off a three year old under the so Devilish Gilding takes it, he's called Devilish Gilding, but he's actually a cock, so he will be able to run in the set if he wants to, well, that's two furlongs shorter. But he's told he's won today comfortably. Devilish Gelding for Darren Thompson, William Wordsworth for Paul Rhodes was second, Lakeside Breeze for Jim Murray was third, Dernier Nosh for David Robertson fourth, and Cullihill Jacko for Satyam was fifth.